Hello guys and welcome, Thousand Sunny here with another One Piece video slash theory and let me introduce you to the Greek mythology slash cosmology Once upon a time there was a titan called Kronos Kronos swallowed his children out of fear that they would overthrow him but he didn't swallow all of them Zeus the later known Olympian leader Zeus didn't get swallowed so Zeus after a long time managed to free his brothers and sisters Poseidon, Hades, Helios, Hera, Demetra and Estia and they waged war against their father Kronos and the rest of the Titans Zeus and his siblings, later known as Olympian gods, couldn't win the war and so they seeked allies. And they found three allies, the giants, the cyclops and uh, the hundred arms. All of them were imprisoned by Kronos until Zeus freed them. This war is also known as the Titan class and the two original opposing sides were the titans led by Kronos and under his commands there were five more titans on the other side it was Zeus and under his command there were six more gods seven gods in total followed by their different tribe allies but for the Olympians to win the war they needed the Cyclops to give them three weapons Poseidon took the trident Zeus got a hammer and the thunder and Hades got a helmet which could make the wearer invisible another interesting thing is that some of Kronos brothers remained neutral one of the neutral brothers was Okeanos, which translates in English as Ocean, whose children were known as Okeanides, which refers to different sea creatures. After the Olympians won the war, Zeus became ruler in the kingdom of the sky, Hades in the kingdom of the underworld, and Poseidon in the kingdom of the seas, which means Poseidon was the king of the different sea creatures I mentioned before. Another interesting thing is that another name for Zeus is Uranus and another name for Hades is Pluton. So now, what I'm saying is that the three ancient weapons in one piece are named after the three Olympian brothers. The fishmen in one piece are represented by the Okeanides. The Titans were five led by Kronos, just like the five elders aka Gorosei in One Piece are led by Imu. And remember in chapter 906 we see Imu walking in some secret place of Holy Land and we see seven doors like the seven Olympian gods that defeated the Titans or should I say the seven clans of D. Progressing this theory, Luffy began his journey when he turned 17. On the other hand, Zeus freed his siblings and started the war when he matured enough to be called a man. Also, Luffy was saved in lockdown by a sudden thunderstorm, which we believe was created by Dragon, but it is not confirmed. Either way, I believe that this thunderstorm is a foreshadow about Luffy obtaining the power of the thunder with his speciality haki, the Conqueror's haki, because I believe that Luffy is the Uranus. I believe that just like Poseidon which passed down from generation to generation, Uranus passed down from generation to generation too. While 
Pluton in one piece hasn't been found since the void century just like Hades could become invisible with his helmet. Other similarities are that Portgas DS had the element of fire due to his devil fruit and we saw S in his battle with Blackbeard naming his last attack as Sun. Well, a son of Zeus later becoming one of the 12 Olympian gods named Hephaestus was the god of fire while the Olympian Helios who fought against the Titans translates as Sun in English. Blackbird's real name is Marshall which in English is also the highest military rank but in the Olympian mythology there was also the god Ares the god of war just like Marshall as a military rank relates to war another thing I would like to point is that in Fishman Island's Poneglyph Joy Boy seems to give Fishman the promise that he would help them live in the surface in other words, that he would free them. That is why I believe that Luffy is a descendant of Monkey D. Joy Boy, and that just like Luffy, Joy Boy was the former Uranus, just like the former Fishman Queen of the time was Poseidon. Another interesting fact is that in One Piece, the time before the establishment of the world government, is called Void Century, while in Greek mythology the time that Kronos ruled, which relates in one piece world government era, before he loses to the Olympians is named the Golden Era. And for last, in Greek mythology there are many somewhat similar different species, hybrids or not, like Centaur, Minotaur, Medusa, Okeanides, Harpies, Giants, Cyclops, Hundred Arms, Cerberus, etc. etc. Species that were abnormally tall or they had part animals in their body or they had snakes in their head or they could live underwater or they had wings. To conclude this, I believe that One Piece is inspired by the Titan class of Greek mythology. Imu and the Gorsei are inspired by the Titans, while the Seven Clans of D are inspired by the Olympian gods. Luffy is Uranus and Joy Boy's real name is Monkey D. Joy Boy. So that is what I believe guys. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content.